Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another beer review. Yes, we're still here as I'm, as I'm gonna be saying for a few videos. Uh, and we are taking a look now at the second beer that I picked up from Bragdi, Bragdi Mona Brewing. Uh, they're from uh, Garwin, Garwin, uh, sort of, just sort of head off towards Hollyhead sort of direction, up in that little part, if you like Anglesey sort of way, I think it is. Uh, yeah, so I went there the other day uh, found the brewery, picked up six beers. I've done one of them. This is the second one. And this one is there, and excuse my pronunciation, the Welsh people out there, I am gonna call it Kibby Fellin. So it's a blonde ale. It's coming in at 4%, beautiful artwork. Look at that, lovely artwork. A small microbrewery. And a lovely chap I spoke to when I went there. Uh, I believe his name is Hugh. Uh, apologies if I'm wrong there as well. Uh, but we've got a Blonde Ale, yeah, like I say, this is one of their Belgian ones. They do two Belgian ones, a whipped beer, which I've got. Uh, so we're gonna be taking a look at this, coming in at 4.6%. Uh, not sure how much it should have been, about the £3.50 mark, something like that. I bought all six and he done them for 20 quid for us. Uh, so yeah, so we'll get that cracked open, get it into a glass and see what we get. It's hard to keep these beers cool. It's pretty warm here by the time of year standards. Uh, I have had them in cold water all day, but they're not exactly ideal. So for a blonde, hopefully this might be all right, but if not, tough. That's the problem I go, I suppose. So let's get it cracked open and see what we get. Now he's saying it's a Belgian style. Um, I mean, I'm kind of thinking it's not really going to be Belgian. I know Blonde is a Belgian style, but I'm not convinced it's going to be very Belgian. I, th I, I feel it's going to be more sort of an English kind of Blonde ale, if you like. Uh, there is a little bit left in the can, but we'll have to see, won't we, if it is. So beer in a glass, there was a couple of bubbles stuck to it, but yeah, I mean, your side, it's it's a little bit darker and has got a bit, bit more of an amber kind of look to it, but my side, it's looking very sort of a hazy sort of lemon sort of looking color. Uh, a few bubbles going up and this, this glass doesn't create any bubbles. It's non-nucleated, a finger of pure white head on top, but it is quite spacious, but I'm not too bothered about that. I think the same as with the one yesterday, that was quite spacious. Uh, I think this is, there was tighter bubbles in there, but this is more of a sort of spacious looking head beer. I'd say a little stream of carbonation going up. Looks decent, looks like a blonde. Let's dive in with the nose and see what we get. And yeah. It's very fruity. It's got a lovely fruity note. It's, I mean, straight away, I think, I think Leffy, if I think a blonde. It's different to that. but still smells like a blonde. It's hard to describe. Fruity, and I swear you do get that yeastiness in there. There is almost a herbaceous uh, kind of aroma going on. It does smell a little bit wheat beerish. it's gotta be said. But yeah, it does smell decent. So, I'm gonna stop waffling. We're gonna get the rest out of the can, into the glass, it has that has hazed up a little bit more. I don't know if you can see, but there was a little little cloud of like yeastiness uh, going in there. So it's a little bit hazier, but looks decent, smells good. Let's dive in on Brag, Brag de Bruin, Brag de Mona Bruin from Garwin uh, and try there, Kibby, Kibby, Kibby fell in blonde, 4.6%, cheers. And to be fair, they definitely got it like a blonde ale. That was, that was what I was wondering. Are they really gonna get that sort of Belgian style feel to it? And for me, they have, they've got it there. Let's go in again. Four point six. Okay, we associate Belgian blondes 6% upwards really, don't we? Six to 7%. This is 4.6. So 
the, the, the body is lighter than that sort of Belgium sort of kind of blonde, if you like, the left thing. But I find them more sticky, maybe more sticky in body as well, gives it the weight. This doesn't have that stickiness, and yet it still feels like it has a bit of weight to it. That's a really good body, I would say, for 4.6%. For Carbonation. It's subtle. It's there, but it's subtle. Busy enough to keep it interesting. Uh, smooth. Yeah, nice and smooth. A nice mouthfeel to it. Although I will say, I think in a better glass, this would be better. On the taste, you get that typical Belgian bitterness that you get from a blonde. It's very much got that. I'm not sure of the hops used in this, but it's got very much of that sort of Duvel feel on the bitterness. Uh, again, it just says ingredients, malted barley, hops, water, yeast. But it, yeah, it's, it's got that, it's got that Duvel bitterness, that hop to, uh, sort of feel to it that Duvel has. It's got the yeastiness of a Belgian blonde as well. A subtle sweetness, fruity notes on the front, bitter on the back end, like I say, a typical sort of bitter, Duvel bitterness, slightly sweet, but not sticky, candied fruit sweetness. It's just a, a slightly sweet fruity note on the front. It's very good, actually. I, I am, if there was one I was worried about in here, particularly, it probably was this one, which means maybe one of the others is, is maybe going to disappoint me somewhere. But this was the one I wasn't expecting to really sort of, I was expecting it to be nice enough, but very average. But for me, they've nailed it. They really have with this 4.6%. Let's go in and give you the, the old ABV, see if it's there. <clears throat> Pardon me. Lemons, lime sort of. It's Duvel all over to be fair. It's, it's, a, it's a lower ABV Duvel. Mm. Lemon lime, 4.6. I think where you maybe think it feels like a bigger beer is because it's got that yeastiness and that bitterness on the back end, but otherwise you don't get that. That is a that is a cracking blonde ale, I tell you. That really is. So uh, well done, Brag 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 Bragdy Mona Brewing out of Gudwin. Uh, the Kibby Fellin Blonde Ale, fantastic, fair dues. They've made that like a Belgian ale. That's not just a typical blonde. That that is. That has been done like a Belgian now. So, uh, yeah, a big thumbs up from me. Uh, well done to the brewery. Fantastic. If you've had this beer before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. If you are around the North Wales area, sort of Anglesey, I think, no. Is that Anglesey? No. Holly Headway. It's, it's, it's coming up that part, if you like. I've had to come back from Carnarvon to go back to sort of cross over the bridge. Cross over that big bridge. If you're somewhere around there, Give it a try. Fantastic attempt at a Belgian ale. So there you go. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching. I have waffled on. Uh, look after yourselves and I'll see you again soon on another one. Cheers.